want you to sit down here and phone your mama and tell you you're gonna stay here and watch the movies with us. Oh, and sit down here. Oh, Ma, they're gonna show those stupid movies again. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Ma. We know it's late, but it's time for another episode of Flawed Family Flex. <coughs> Watch close, and you may even see some of your family here. Are you serious? Well, where do I come from? Shut up and sit down. Be ready. I will make you understand. Oh, yes. I can remember when the gorilla maniac stopped the suburbs. The police claimed it was a professional killer. The police were baffled as the victims died, one after another. It seemed the killer couldn't be stopped. And then a chain of events occurred that brought the Flawed family into it. It all started on a dark and stormy night. I said, a dark and stormy night. Thank you. Doesn't look good. Meanwhile, down in the house... Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Oh, good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow uh -oh. that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. She's so out of here. I bet I could run faster than that. Help! Help! Please, somebody help her and help! shut her up. It's after me! And why did you stop running? Oh! Help! Help! Please! Help! I'd already be in the next county, help! personally. It's after me! We... Mental note, oh. kill the cat in the morning. Oh. Oh. Be still help! my beating heart. Oh. Now, this is what I call a large house. Oh, I hate it when the door makes a noise like that. Yes, sir, she is brave. Oh, my God, it looks like Dracula to me. Well, Kitty, what is all this record about? Oh, Pierce! Oh, Pierce! I saw him. I'm telling you, lady, he's Dracula. He almost killed me, the gorilla! Quiet, you have been dreaming. Oh, that's no. not a dream, oh, that's a I nightmare. Know. I tell you, I don't know anything. Call the police, call Mr. Stevens, he'll kill be somebody. Quiet, can't you? No, I can't. Please, lady, I be quiet. I can't be murdered. Mr. Stevens, Mr. Stevens. You're me, Kitty? Oh, Mr. Stevens, we'll all be murdered in our beds. It's that gorilla fellow whose papers are so full of. The killer, he was just up in my room. Oh, no, no, come, come, Kitty, you're hysterical. Oh, no, sir. I don't think so. I feel like I said. Now, Kitty, you're imagining things. Just you go back to bed. That's what I said, sir. Only that is this. Oh, well, this don't look good. The gorilla's paw. No! Should I call the police, sir? Police? Yes, yes. Call them right away. And an ophthalmologist for your eyes. Just a minute. I'll handle this my own way. Yes, sir, only... Only what? I was thinking of the time, sir. Time? According to the newspapers, the gorilla gives his victim only 24 hours notice. <laughs> oh. Oh, nonsense. Now, you go back to bed and don't worry about this. Back to bed? Who, me? Oh, don't go back to bed. I'm not particularly interested where you go. Oh, well, Mr. Stevens! Yes, but... This guy must be I... a graduate of the Marquis de Sade School of Better Employee Management. Hello. Come, please. Just a minute. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Yeah, but... I wouldn't be frightened like that if I were you, Kitty. Look, you'll be frightened any way you want. This is my way. 
I think I'd be afraid of the vampire. This is Cousins Harrigan, Mulligan, and Garrity. They're members of the Flawed family. Why have you already figured that out? I'll bet there's a dead body in every room. That body won't reach you. Can't do you any good. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's get in the house, boys. We'll get it. You! Get my record tonight, Chief. Make it all of that. Uh, keep doing that once in a while. It keeps me on edge and thinking. Right. I don't think it's gonna help. Now, what do you suppose they want to take this for? I've got an idea. Uh, let's go in and find out. Get my record. It's Dracula again. Mr. Joyce is speaking. Who are you? Looks like Count Dracula to me. I'm Peter, sir. Never mind that, never mind that. What's your name? Peter, sir. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Where were you last night? I beg your pardon. Oh, so you did do something. I don't like your looks. What's that got to do with it? This is no beauty contest. Don't you just love an interrogation? Looks pretty suspicious to me. I'm Mulligan. I'm Garrity. Hannigan. Mulligan. Garrity. Kind of melodic, isn't it? I sent for you because I need protection. My life's been threatened. Now tell me, any clues? One very vital one. This warning from the gorilla. That's well. You've got nothing to worry about. Mark that down, Garrity. Right. How do you spell gorilla? Two R's or two L's? Gorilla. Gorilla. G-O-R. G-G-G-O! Oh! G-O! Gorilla! <laughs> Did, did you, did you, woo, woo, woo. did you say... You want to talk about gorilla? losing your enthusiasm. My gentleman, you're not afraid. The whole oh, world no, world terrified world. would be a better word. Thank you. The gorilla much. coming here? It was nice to have met you, Mr. Stevens. Quiet! Quiet! Maybe it's just the weather. I am. Uh, Maybe not. I've already taken the precaution of arming my servant and myself. And I think you'll find that every door and window is securely bolted. I couldn't have done better myself. With us on a job, Mr. Stevens, you've got nothing to worry about. What's your plan, Mr. Harrigan? Well, first we'll take a look around the house. Come on, then. Now, you just sit tight, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> the gorilla will get you over our dead bodies. That's quite a way to put that, <laughs> boys. I think I'd be worried. Jack. Yes, darling? Who are those men? Probably the detectives your uncle hired. Jack, I'm terribly worried. What are we going to do? Well, it seems there isn't anything we can do yet. Listen, darling, it isn't that I'm trying to appear skeptical. It's just that, well, somehow I can't make myself believe all this. But that note, you saw the note. Of course I did, but still I... Look, darling, we'll wait. We'll wait and see if something really does happen. Like they kill your uncle. What if it does? I just don't believe it will. Ah, yes, young love. Jack. It's not Jack. It's Drac. Dracula, that is. Excuse me, sir. I tried to put your car away, but unfortunately, there's something wrong with it. What do you mean? It won't start. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I'd say that makes something wrong with it. He gives me the creeps. He doesn't exactly give me an appetite either. I wouldn't let him worry me if I were you. I think you I'm should be don't. worried. Don't you think there's any cause for alarm? I'm afraid I don't. I think there is. Yep, sure do you think there is. Oh, there you are. Another sherry before dinner? That looks suspicious you, no. to me. That's right, just show everybody where the safe is. Where I come from, we call that suspicious. Uncle Walter, how long have you had that butler? Not very long, why? Well, are you sure he's all right? I found him so. Why? Well, 
because I... Do you see much during the daytime? Dinner is served, sir. Oh. Shall we go in? <laughs> You'd better drink a little of that, Kitty. It'll quiet your nerves. Why, can you hear them? Oh, here, take it. What my nerves really need is a good long trip. Where were you last night? Me? Why, I... Uh... Answer yes or no. I was... I what were you doing there? Doing where? Well, how do we know? Besides, I don't like your looks. Did you ever take a good look at yourself? Yeah, did hey, you ever did take I... a look? Hey, hey, now, wait a minute, you. Where were you last night? I spent the night with Shakespeare. Yeah? Where is he? He's dead. Dead? A murder mystery. Have you any idea who did it? Look, Shakespeare's been dead hundreds of years. Hundreds of... This is a fine time to call us in on the case. Say, but she couldn't have done it. How do you know? She can't be hundreds of years old. That's right. Mark that down, Gary. Yeah, what do we do now, Chief? Oh, you two have a look out there. I'll look here. Yeah. Uh. Ah, yes. Ever the subtle investigator. And now the true sleuth at work. A mastermind of deduction. What's this? At the door. It leads to the back stairs. Back stairs? Well, remind me to have a look up there sometime. And a fearless man. Always following up the clues. That's an ironing board. Yeah. That's an ironing board. Look, do you want this thing? Certainly we want it. What do you think we are, you not? Yeah, why? Well, temper, temper. Well, here, take it! Hurry it! Hurry it! Hurry it! Hurry it! Come in here! We found it! You found what? The mystery. Well, that's hash. Ain't that a mystery? It is a for some tiny, people. Chief. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. I'm afraid, gentlemen, you won't find the gorilla in there. Why will we not find the gorilla in there? Now listen, you! I... Don't mess with the vampire. Let that be a lesson to you. Yeah. Perhaps you gentlemen had better look outside for clues. Maybe he killed Shakespeare. Uh, mark that down, Gary. Yeah. Time to go now. Look, how do you get out of here? That's what I'd like to know. And where's the back door? In back of you. In back of me. Hey. Oh. Oh. Back of you. Let's just hope they can make it out the door. Do you recall that the paper said the gorilla always sends a warning to as many as half a dozen people at the same time? Just sort of throw the police off. Maybe that's what he's doing now. Perhaps it's just a ruse. Well, let's hope so. You know, it's wonderful how much more optimistic a good dinner can make one feel. <laughs> I think you're all doomed. Do we have liqueurs in the study? And then the lights went out. No, no. I, I don't know what happened. Look here. It seems to have been thrown in through that window. I bet the vampire did it. Oh, Uncle Walter. What are we going to do? Turn off the, the first clock. thing we're going to do, or rather Jack is going to do, is to take you away from here. But you're coming with us. Detectives, <laughs> need to give me a turn. Did you see that face? I bet when he gets drunk, snakes see him. What's the matter with you scaring us half to death? I'm just trying to let you know I'm not the gorilla. Thanks for the warning. This is my niece, Miss Jimby, and her fiance, Mr. Marsden. Harrigan, Mulligan, and Garrity. Thank you, sir. This matter seems to be much more serious than I thought. I've just received this from the gorilla. A note. Who brought it? No one brought it. To throw me through that window. Through that window? <laughs> through that window. He's right. Wait a minute. This is my good ear. Oh, say that's right. You can't kid us. We were outside patrolling the grounds. What do you mean? Why, that note couldn't have come through that window. But why not? Well, I'll just show you. Stand back, man. Let's hear it for deductive reasoning. That's why. 
but it was wrapped around a stone. A stone? A, st a stone? Well, why didn't you say so? Anyway, what do you know about the stain? Well, I don't know anything about it. We were preparing to leave the room, and suddenly the lights went out, and then there was a crash, and... Oh, so the lights went out, huh? <laughs> Make a note of that, Garrity. Right. That's his story, you know, and he's sticking to it. Go, didn't you see anybody? Nobody but us. Say, this note says at midnight. At midnight? Yeah. What time is it now? It's 10.30. I got 11.10. I got 11.30. It's exactly 11.45. Remind me to put some hands on this watch. Yes. Well, make a note of that, Garrity. Right. Now, look, the gorilla's after Stevens. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Everybody into the study. Come on, let's go. Still a dark and stormy night. Well, boy, that could get on your nerves. Now that you're all here, I don't want anybody to move. Understand? Is it all right if I breathe? Yes, but come right back. Quiet! Personally, I don't believe the gorilla's coming here. Neither do I. Neither do I. Why not? I'll give you three good reasons, pal. Harrigan, Mulligan, and Garrity. It ain't enough. <laughs> now look here! I don't yeah, want to have your looks. Yeah, you wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll handle this. Yeah, but you're listening to Uh-oh. You have received the gorilla's warning, Walter Stevens. You've just five minutes to live. Oh, Uncle Walter. Jack. Excuse me. Here, here. Now, where are you going? I'm getting out of here. There's no door there. Oh, no, that's all right. I'll make one. Goodbye. Oh, get it over there. Quiet! Quiet, everybody! <laughs> Oh, now that's a scary sound. Did you hear that? I wish I didn't. He's up there, man! Run up there and go get him. Where are you going? I said he's up there. That's what I thought you said. Oh, quiet. Yes, sir. Brave as lions. All right, man. Oh, great, the Invisible Man. Okay, now that would freak me out. What happened? What was it? Nothing, nothing at all. Never mind. I'm telling you, he's Dracula. Just pass here? Yes. Yes, of course. I brought a trunk down from the attic. A trunk? Yes. Were we here? I couldn't say. <clears throat> well, maybe we're not here now. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, now that's kind of confusing. It's two minutes of twelve. What about Uncle Walter? Uncle Walter, yes. Uncle Walter, we, Uncle, we're just going in. We'll... Oh, now they remember Uncle Everybody. Walter. Stay just where you are. Mulligan, you watch those doors. Gabby, you watch that one. Mr. Stevens, you've got, good, you've got, you've got nothing to worry about. I wish I thought so. Me too. <laughs> you have one more minute, Walter Stevens. Talk about getting bad news. Can't somebody turn that thing off? I think they're all doomed. My, doesn't time fly when you're having fun. They're starting to make me nervous. I can't stand it any longer. I can't. You've got to call the police. You've got to. Mr. Stevens, I'm sorry, but Norma's right. I don't know what this is all about, but... Certainly, if there's something to it, the police ought to know about it. I no longer know what to think. Perhaps you'd better. 
Hello? Hello? Oh, great. Now the phone doesn't work. Oh, there's something wrong. <laughs> Through this door, sir. I'll tell you when the doors are locked. I beg your pardon. It was not locked. I locked it myself. It is locked. That leaves us deadlocked. It would be impossible for me to walk through the woodwork. Why? Termites do. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Now leave everything to me. The girl ain't gonna make a monkey out of me. Oh, I don't know about that. Now you... Come on, boys. Yes, sir. Brave as lions. What are these stairs lead to? To the bedrooms. Mulligan, Johnny, you have a look upstairs. Martin, you come with me. We'll have a look around the grounds. You two look in the servants' wing. But the gorilla probably around, not me. Well, all right, then come with me. Oh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the other gorilla. Wait, wait a minute. We can't leave Miss Denby here alone. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't know, but I wish I could think of something. Me too. I'll go on. Don't worry, darling. Oh, that's all right. I'll do all the worrying. Marston, come with me. I'd be worried. Oh, uh, you first, sir. Come on, come on out of there, you. All right, come on. Look, it's opening. Well, come on. Looks pretty on, suspicious but... to me. Oh, so it's you. Do you know him? Do I know him? He's the guy I caught using the telephone. There's no law against that. Never mind law, buddy. Get him up. Now, just a minute. Don't you think you're a little premature? Premature? Well, I can't remember that far back. Just who are you? I'm Detective Coletti. An investigator for the Securities and Exchange Commission. Sure. And I'm on the trail of the gorilla just as you are. A detective? How do we know that? Yes, we... He's got a bag. Uh, well, uh, uh, what were you doing in there? Investigating. I've been on this case for some weeks now. And I've discovered a little about the construction of this house that my good friend here don't seem to have found out yet. <laughs> and the trail led into a closet. What do you mean? This house is a maze of secret panels. Now, undoubtedly, the voice of the gorilla came through that radio from someplace right in this house. That means that if we find the wire leading away from the radio... We'd at least find the gorilla's hideout. Say, what's going on here? Well, well, here it is. Here's the wire going right in here. It's fine. Ah, uh, uh, yes, the old secret uh -huh. panel ploy. Uh, Just as I thought. Here's the wire. Now, by tracing this, I think we may find the answer to this entire riddle. Or get electrocuted. The wire goes in here. Back of this wall is the man we want. Yeah, we'll make a note of that, Garrett. Are you all armed? Yes, I'm armed. Shh, quiet, you. Here it is. Surprise! There is your microphone. And as I expected, there is your gorilla. Mr. Stevens, the gorilla? Well, sure, I could have told you that all the time. I guess the party is over, my gorilla friend. Yeah, but who tied him up like that? I don't know. He figured the game was up and that this would throw off suspicion. This is a homemade job. A child could have done it. Ah, it's preposterous. Don't believe him. I never saw this man before in my life. It's insane. Well, why not? Everything else here is. Now, what's that? Oh, why is it with all the men in the house they have to leave us here with you? Quiet. Oh. They thought you liked vampires. Alias the gorilla. The gorilla? Him? That's what I said. Oh, I'll never trust another man if I live to be a thousand. You can make that two thousand. Uncle Walter the gorilla. Looks bad for Uncle Walter. I don't believe it. I don't either. I think I can make it very clear. Oh, uh, sure we can. Now, first of all, what's that? Oh, I didn't hear a thing. Neither did I, but what was it? Who is we'll it? find out. Hey, what is this? Who hit me? What's going on around here? It's that That's a good again. question. Oh, there you are. Kidnapped. Kidnapped by the gorilla. Not kidnapped by the gorilla, Mr. Conway. A.P. Conway. Uh, the A.P. stands for ape. Mr. Conway, this gentleman is the gorilla. The gorilla? But if Uncle Walt is the gorilla, I don't understand why he should send himself those notes of warning. For yeah. two reasons. To keep you here and to throw off suspicion from himself. Miss Denby, under the terms of your father's will, if anything were to happen to you, who would inherit your estate? Uncle Walter. My hunch was right. 
Your uncle brought you here tonight to kill you for your money. Well, at least he had a reason. So that's why he wouldn't let us call the police. That's exactly why. But what about these men, these private detectives? <laughs> they almost speak for themselves. Do you think if Stephen's life had actually been threatened, he would have called in three morons such as these for protection? <laughs> morons? <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. I resent that. But I tell you, I saw the gorilla right there in that closet. I saw his hand and his arm, and it was no optical confusion. What yeah. you saw was this sleeve. Another ingenious little invention of Mr. Stevens. Mm, it's a very cute little idea. <laughs> well, that about clears the whole matter up. And since it stopped raining, I think I'd better go. <laughs> You're okay, oh, buddy. Okay. He's all right. Congratulations. Yeah. Let me congratulate you. You were wonderful. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no, you don't, buddy. Okay, folks. Say howdy to the gorilla. Howdy. howdy. All right, give out. Or this moron is going to blow your brains out. Well, you see, it was all that. Oh. Now, all of you stick your hands up. I'm the gorilla, all right. But the cops haven't been able to get me, so don't you halfwits get any crazy notions. And as for Mr. Stevens, he's just as crooked as I told you he was. The trouble with him is he talks too much and too loud. I got tipped off on what was going to happen here tonight. How he was going to pretend to be me. I was going to get the $250,000 and at the same time let him get the blame for all the girl murders. Well, you better be careful. I'm a little nervous tonight. Drop that gun. And I advise you not to move. Leave it to Dracula. Hello. Police station, quickly. What is this? I thought the phone was out of order. Maybe he paid his bill. Hello? This is Walter Stevens speaking. Send a squad car to my house. We've got the gorilla. Things are so mixed up around here that even the gorilla doesn't know who the gorilla is. He's the gorilla? He's the gorilla? Do I know what I'm doing? Look, what's going on here? I'm getting really confused. <laughs> Don't look so sad, darling. Your uncle isn't a crook, and our estate's all safe and sound now. <laughs> you know, you never can tell. This is liable to wind up to be a mystery. You see, the gorilla murders were threatening to bank up our insurance company. Most of the victims were clients of ours. So Conway, our special investigator, cooked up his little scheme to trap the killer. I'm sorry I had to frighten you, dear. And you too, Kitty. Oh, I wasn't frightened. I was numb. You fellas are certainly great detectives. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. we could have told you that. Did you know that Cletty was the gorilla all along? Oh, sure, sure we did. did. No, we sure. didn't. When did you find out he was the gorilla? When I shook hands with him. I don't get you. Well, you see, I was a window trimmer in a department store. And I ought to know a phony feel when I feel one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never be able to thank you, Mr. Harrigan. Oh, well, that's all right. I understand you two are getting married soon. Well, if you call tomorrow soon. Well, remember, if you have any trouble with her, <laughs> our specialty is following wives. <laughs> uh, you know where to send the check? And uh, be sure it's certified. <laughs> From a contented bank. <laughs> Rack up another one for the flawed family. Bye. Bye.